Hi everyone, Arwen from Evenstar here. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts video this evening. So today's topic is preparing for conception on all energetic levels. Before I get into the topic, just wanted to let you know that I have, at, when I recorded this video anyway, I had four spots left on my uh, new client list before Christmas hopefully at least one of those is already gone by now so they're really filling up quickly um, and if you would like to take up one of those spots and get yourself into a position of fabulous preparation for beautiful well-being for 2018 then please feel free to get in contact with me okay so I have a lot to cover with this topic so I'm going to try and go really quickly through it um, I, there will be a blog I always have a blog that goes with my video that often has more information in it so I will put a link to that below and if you want to get more detailed information then please feel free to have a read of the blog so this topic of conception is something that is really common in my Reiki practice. A lot of women come and see me when they're trying to conceive or thinking about trying to conceive. And I wanted to talk about the fact that even if you are prepared physically to conceive a baby and to go through pregnancy, you need to also consider your other levels of energetic well-being, so your emotional, mental and spiritual well-being. So perhaps you've done all the things your doctor's told you to do, taking multivitamins, maybe even losing weight, exercising, not having too much caffeine or alcohol. And you need to also think about the other aspects of your well-being because even if you're in the tip-top physical condition, you're only 30% prepared if you haven't thought about your emotional, mental and spiritual well-being as well. So um, there are three key emotional aspects that you need to be aware of when preparing to conceive and they are fear, guilt and self-love. So all of these things can be um, on a, an unconscious level. So you might hear those words and think, no, that doesn't apply to me. So what I'm wanting to talk about is the fact that a lot of uh, emotional things like this can be at a level where you're not aware that they apply to you. There is also more and more research being done into epigenetics, which is all about the fact that our emotions and our feelings actually get carried through the gene pool. So you may have an emotion or a feeling that you don't know why you feel that way and it can be in fact because your um, your ancestry had that feeling and it's carried through your genes so your parent or your grandparent or even your great grandparent may have experienced something felt an emotion to do with that and it's carried through to you so I just wanted to be really clear that we are dealing with things that perhaps aren't appearing to you on a conscious level and that is why things like Reiki and other energetic uh, work is really beneficial when you're in this kind of situation where you want to clear and balance anything, even if you're not aware that it applies to you. So Reiki will work on all energetic levels of the body, including the physical body, but also mental, emotional, spiritual, and will help you to get things into balance and make you ready for conceiving a baby. So the first one I wanted to talk about was fear. So this can certainly obviously come into play when it's your first pregnancy um, and you have that innate human fear of the unknown. You don't know what, what it's going to be like to be pregnant, to have a baby. You may be fearful of what kind of a parent you're going to be. Are you going to be good enough? You may be fearful of making the mistakes that your own parents made. So there is so much that can go into fear in this kind of situation this kind of stage of life. The late Louise Hay suggests an affirmation for this kind of situation so this is a way of preparing yourself on those higher levels of energy and that affirmation is divine right action is always taking place in my life. I love and approve of myself all is well. So the second emotion I wanted to talk about is guilt so guilt often comes into play when you have had a previous pregnancy that hasn't carried through to term, and that can be through a miscarriage or in fact through a termination. Uh, but it can also come into play if you've had a previous pregnancy that didn't go well. And 
Women have a, an innate deep-rooted drive to carry on the human race and an innate expectation that they are naturally going to be able to conceive and to have a successful pregnancy. And in actual fact, it's really only in very recent times on the, the big broad spectrum of human history that um, there was not a really large number of, of pregnancies that resulted in death of both the mother and the baby. So it's not something that is as easy as I think we are programmed to think it is. The other main thing I wanted to talk about with regards to guilt is that, interestingly, the second chakra, so this, the sacral chakra, which is right at the bottom of your abdomen, just above your pelvic bone, is the chakra that is involved, so the chakra of the energetic centre that is involved with reproduction. This chakra is actually, the flow of energy in this chakra is actually blocked by guilt. So being able to forgive yourself is absolutely critical for the flow of energy in this chakra to be balanced and moving and enable you to conceive. So an affirmation again from Louise Hay for this is, I rejoice in my femaleness. I love being a woman. I love my body. I would also add to that, because it's about um, forgiving yourself and moving on, releasing guilt, I would also add, I release and transmute any blockages in my second chakra. I release and transmute them beyond all time, space, reality and dimension. The third emotion is self-love. So it's absolutely critical that you love yourself and that you demonstrate that you love yourself to the universe or whatever higher power you believe in in order to bring a new life into the world. So very important, uh, as I mentioned at the start, to do all that physical well-being stuff to demonstrate your, your readiness and your self-love, but also to uh, prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So things to do to boost your own preparedness on those levels of energy are uh, yoga, uh, meditation and doing things you love. So the second chakra is all about joy, passion, pleasure in life and it's really important to make sure that you make time to do things you love when you're trying to conceive because that's going to open up that critical energy center. So many of my clients do find Reiki really beneficial when they're trying to conceive because it makes them feel calmer, more grounded, clears their head, takes the thoughts away, the unnecessary thoughts away and um, also enables that feeling of joyfulness of um, removing guilt and fear. So if you would like to access some Reiki, then please feel free to get in touch with me. And also certainly if you have any other questions or anything else you'd like me to cover, then please contact me. Have a great evening. Bye.